Hello everyone, and welcome to the Visual Dungeon Guide for the Vanguard. The first boss is Vanguard Commander R8. Electro Wave is a group-wide attack that deals unavoidable damage to all party members. Healers be ready. The area should now become sealed off. The outer edges of the arena will become electrified. Touching this will give Electrocution a 15-second debuff that deals lightning damage over time. Enhanced Mobility will have the boss charge around the arena, following the telegraphed circular path. If the boss's weapon is on the same side as the turning direction, stand outside the circle to avoid damage. If his weapon is on the opposite side as the turning direction, stand inside the circle. Dispatch will summon bikers at the arena's edge. Each biker will travel down the length of the battlefield in a linear area of effect. You will need to maneuver between the bikers to avoid taking damage. Dispatch will summon bikers at the arena's edge. Each biker will create a growing circular area of effect. You will need to move to the safe area to avoid taking damage. Dispatch will summon two sets of bikers at the arena's edge. Each biker will travel down the length of the battlefield in a linear area of effect, creating a checkered pattern. The boss will then cast Electro Surge, which will target all players with a circular area of effect for unavoidable damage. Each player must spread out to prevent overlapping damage from one another while also moving to a safe area of their own to avoid damage from the bikers. Dispatch will summon two sets of bikers at the arena's edge. Each biker will create a growing circular area of effect. You will have to move to the safe area to avoid taking damage from the first set of explosions, and then to the center of the battlefield to avoid the second set. The mechanics will then repeat until the boss is down. The second boss is Protector. Electro Wave is a group-wide attack that deals unavoidable damage to all party members. Healers be ready. The area should now become sealed off. The outer edges of the arena will become electrified. Touching this will give Electrocution a 15-second debuff that deals lightning damage over time. Search and Destroy will fill the room with several sets of thin linear area of effects and small circular area of effects. You will need to maneuver between them to avoid taking damage. Fulminous Fence will create lingering walls of lightning. You can walk through these walls, however doing so will deal damage and paralyze. The boss will move to the center of the battlefield and cast Battery Circuit to mirroring cone area of effects that rotate around the boss. You will need to maneuver around these while also avoiding circular area of effects and any walls created by Fulminous Fence. Rapid Thunder is a tank buster that deals heavy damage to the target. Use defensive cooldowns and shields to mitigate it. Motion Sensor will fill the battlefield with a set of repeating linear area of effects, which move from the center to the sides of the battlefield. You will also gain Acceleration Bomb, a 10-second debuff placed on you. When the debuff expires, if you are moving, auto-attacking, or using a skill, you will take heavy damage. You will get a special marker above your character's head, giving you the final 3-second countdown. The boss will use Fulminous Fence and Search and Destroy in combination with each other. You will need to maneuver between the area of effects while also avoiding the fences. Tracking Bolt will target all players with a circular area of effect for unavoidable damage, spread out to prevent overlapping damage from one another. Heavy Blast Cannon targets a random player with a stack marker. The party will need to stand together to share the incoming damage. The mechanics will then repeat until the boss is down. The third boss is Xander the Snakeskinner. Electrothermia is a group-wide attack that deals unavoidable damage to all party members. Healers be ready. The area should now become sealed off. The outer edges of the arena will become electrified. Touching this will give Electrocution, a 15-second debuff that deals lightning damage over time. Soulbane Saber is a linear area of effect. This will eventually spread and detonate for a delayed half room cleave in the direction of the initial attack. Saber Rush is a tank buster that deals heavy damage to the target. Use defensive cooldowns and shields to mitigate it. Synthus Lean is a frontal cone area of effect. The boss will move to the arena's edge and cast Synthus Slither. To avoid this, you will need to move to the boss and stand on the opposite side of the first bend in the telegraphed path. Shade Shot is a tank buster that deals heavy damage to the target. 
Use defensive cooldowns and shields to mitigate it. Slitherbane works the same as Soulbane Saber, the linear area of effect which eventually spreads into a half-room cleave. However, there is an additional mechanic depending if the boss casts Slitherbane Foreguard or Slitherbane Rearguard. Foreguard is an instant half-room cleave in the direction the boss is facing, while Rearguard is an instant half-room cleave behind the boss. You will need to pay close attention to the cast name to avoid this attack. Screech is a group-wide attack that deals unavoidable damage to all party members. Healers be ready! The mechanics will then repeat until the boss is down.